Hello everybody, it is a hot and sweaty day in the community garden, but I wanted to take a minute to tell you how we put in new plants on hot and sweaty days. So it's about 87 degrees outside, it is September, um, and it is going to be dry all week, which kind of stinks, but sometimes that's when you have to get your planting done and you need to go for it for your timetable. But there's a couple adjustments you can make that can make it possible for you to plant in that time. Adjustment number one, when it's hot and dry outside, the ground gets really compacted and your topsoil gets really loose, which means that if you're just watering the top of your plants as you're planting them, a lot of the water is going to roll away. It's going to evaporate really quickly in the sunlight or, um, or it's actually going to erode your topsoil because it's just so loose. So do not water the tops of your plants. Instead, dig your hole, the depth of your pot, and water the hole before planting. It's also helpful if you can water the perennial before you put it in the ground, but if nothing else, water the hole. That way the soil is wet right where the root zone is going to be and where the plant's really going to need it. It will help keep the temperature of the plant cooler. You'll lose less water to evaporation and you'll hold on to your topsoil. Step two before you put the perennial in the hole, especially if you're in a public space like a community garden, take off the top half inch of soil around the base of your potted plant. So like right around where the stem of the plant is, just take off that entire top half inch and put it in the bottom of your planting hole. That top half inch has all the weed seeds that blew in while that plant was in a nursery setting or in a garden center. And you don't wanna be introducing those weed seeds into your garden. So by removing that top portion of soil and putting it in the bottom of the planting hole, it's not going to see any sunlight and it can't germinate and you won't get those weed seeds. So that will also help. Then you're gonna put in your perennial and you're gonna plant it a little bit deeper in the fall because in the winter, as the ground expands, it can push your plant a little bit out of the soil and you don't want those roots exposed. So planting deeper also helps. In this case at the community garden, we also marked all of our perennials with little green flags so that our team, when they come to volunteer water, knows where the water goes and where the water doesn't. And it will help us be more efficient with our water usage. So there's your tips. Thank you very much.